Hey guys, it's Morgan. Merry Christmas and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing the very patiently awaited what I got for Christmas 2018. I hope you guys like this video and a little disclaimer because I know you heard about a gazillion disclaimers, but I'm gonna do one more time for you. I'm not trying to brag in any way, shape, or form about my gifts or what I got. I'm just trying to share with you guys what I got for Christmas because you guys are my friends, you know, and I like sharing with my friends what I, what I got. So you guys in the comments can tell me what you guys got so we can like bond over it. And if we got like the same things, we can do that. It's gonna be fun. So I'm just not trying to brag. I'm just trying to share with you guys what I got for Christmas. And without further ado, let's get on to the video. Okay, so first I'm gonna start out with my stocking. Um, it's all the way back here. Uh, it was very heavy this year. So this is my stocking, it is from Justice, and as I said last year, and I will say, for the years to come, please do not judge me, I was seven when I picked this out, so, can it. So the first thing in my stocking was this sweet, I was about to say sweet tart, this trolley sour bites fruit um, thing, and I really, really like this. Trolleys are my favorite, I love the gummy worms, I always eat the pink and the blue ones, but I got the sour bites this time. There's like a little like feather on it, which is pretty cool. I don't know why there's feather on it, but I like it, so yeah. Um, the next thing I got were my stickers that I wanted. Um, so here are all the stickers. They are so cute. Um, I picked, I put them all in a cart and just sent screenshots to my parents. So they're upside down. Let's turn these right side up. So the first one I got has says "Be Kind Vibes" and "Hang Loose." <laughs> so happy with me. The next one says "Oh Krr, and it has a Volkswagen on it. The next one says. That's the thesis, and it says choose happy. Oh, by the way, I speak in Twitter stands, so you're gonna see a lot of that in here. Um, the next one says, but first coffee, and it has one, and a scrunchie sticker on it. The next one says, Visco is for the girls. Next one says, you Burke and rock, and it's a vibe, cause it's a vibe. Um, the next one says, cries in Spanish and hi sisters. The next one is that hang loose like thing again, but it's like a Hawaiian print and it has the Philadelphia New England Super Bowl final on it, just in case you guys forgot. The Eagles beat New England Patriots 41 to 33. Just saying. Um, the next thing, or the last thing, is the Astro World like tour thing, but it says Philadelphia, wish you were here, and the Jeep with the Patagonia uh, thing on it, which is pretty dope. And that's all the stickers I got. The next thing I got in here, which you guys probably won't get, but ever since I was little, I've loved Toy Story. So my dad got me Toy Story 1 and 2 on Blu-ray. And I really, 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 really have like an emotional connection to the Toy Story movies because I've always watched them. I love them. I used to like play with my Toy Story toys and like do the exact like choreography that Aunt choreography, <laughs> dancer life, um, like the moves Andy did with his toys. So I, ha I can say I'm pretty obsessed with it, but I'm super shocked we didn't have it on Blu-ray already, but I got Toy Story 1 and 2 and I'm very excited about it. And I'm so excited about Toy Story 4 coming out. I almost cried when I saw the, the trailer, just saying. Um, the next thing I got were sweet tarts, mini chews. I love sweet tarts. I like sour things, as you can tell. I got a trolley, got sweet tarts. I like sour things, as you can tell, so I got my mini chews. Um, the next thing I got in here was some bath bombs. It's a small one, a medium, and a large one, and they're all peppermint scented, which is pretty cool because I love me some peppermint, let me just say. Um, the next thing I got, these are hilarious. So my parents got me these. These are reusable straws. I have been like on that like reusable straw like energy type thing um, for a while now. Um, so I'm gonna show you what these guys, these do. So, all right, and basically what it does is you open it up and you have the reusable straw on the inside um, and it, then it folds back down like that and you can put it back in the case just like that. And then you close it and bam. I think this is so, so cool because when I go to dance, there's a Starbucks like right around the corner from my dance school and I always go to dance and I always getting a straw so I can use these reusable straws now. So one less person to pollute the oceans. Um, <laughs> the next thing I got was a push pop. Pretty self-explanatory. I like push pops. The next thing I got were Christmas peeps. I love Christmas peeps. I love marshmallow peeps. I like those ASMR marshmallow videos. Guilty pleasure of mine. All right, the last thing I got was the Mario Badescu Facial Spray Trio. It comes with the rose water one, the cucumber and aloe vera one, and the lavender and chamomile one. 
And I've never tried the lavender one before, so I'm pretty excited to use it. And they're all travel sized, which is good too. And that's everything I got in my stocking this year. I really liked my stocking this year. I thought it was really cool. So the next thing I got, I'm gonna go over here. I got a new, I got a new straightener for Christmas and I asked for one of these in my wish list video because the straightener I used is literally 75 million years old. My mom had that straightener when she was like, like in college or something, I don't know. And it's hot pink inside, which is always a plus. Okay, the next thing I got, which you guys are probably eyeing, I got my Louis Vuitton key pouch. I was actually speechless when I got this because I didn't expect it like at all. And my parents got it for me and I was so, so happy about it because it was just something I've wanted for a really long time. And I, I don't know, I think it's super cute and it's super versatile. So I got the little Louis Vuitton key pouch. I'm very excited to put this on my lanyard because um, it's just like, Adds a little flair to your lanyard because obviously on your lanyard you keep your keys and your wallet and stuff. So now everything is in here and it's super fashionable, which I love. Um, and along with that, it just came with some mini perfumes. I put one on, it smells really good. It came with two, so I'm gonna try those out. And it came in a little, this cute bag, which is definitely gonna be put to good use, trust me. The next thing I got were Vans and, oh, that hurt. Um, I got the white slip-on Vans. I'm so excited I have these because honestly, I wear my white Converse a lot, but they are kind of small, getting a little small for me right now. So I'm really glad I got my new bands. Okay, so the next thing I got, which is kind of a tradition in my house, I always get a present in my bed. And this year I got the Stranger Things on disc. And I know I have them on Netflix, but this is actually really cool because it's like all worn and torn on the side. But then when you open it, it's like a VCR tape. Really cool, right? And it's like a VCR tape in the front. It has Stranger Things on it. It's upside down. This is like a constant trend. Last year, my posters, my Stranger Things posters, were upside down. And like this year, this is upside down. Coincidence? Um, and on the back, it's just like a VCR thing too, which is really cool. So you open it like on the top and you can uh, open it like this. And it is so cute. And, and here it has a little sticky note that says, friends don't lie. And it has a poster, which I'm not going to show you guys because it kind of creeps me out. This isn't something I expected. So I love, love this. The next thing I got were a pair of jeans from Abercrombie. And these are super cute. They're not like dark, dark wash, but they're not like light wash, like in the middle. I think it's kind of cool. Okay. The next thing I got were also from Abercrombie. I love Abercrombie, if you guys can tell. I got some fancy pajamas. They're navy and red, and they have polka dots on them, and they come with a longer pant. Um, and I think these are super cute, and they have a little tie on the front, just like these ones. Um, and they come with like a long sleeve shirt, um, which is also navy and red. And it comes with like, it buttons up in the front, I think, and it has a little pocket on it. And it says the A and F for Abercrombie and Fitch. So I think they're really cute. And it also has like the red trim on it. So I like that a lot. All right, and the last thing on the side is my Hydro Flask. Dope. I'm so excited I got this because I am gonna put my stickers on here. I'm gonna put a few on my laptop too. But I'm super excited I got my Hydro Flask because I've been using my mom's for a very long time and I do have one already, but it's pretty small. So I like this for like school and dance because I can fill it up in the beginning of the day and use it all the way until I get home from dance at like nine o'clock. So it is really, really helpful when it comes to just like usage throughout the day. So I'm very excited I got this and I got the white one. These are something for my Disney nerd. So, there is a candle company, which I actually learned um, of it from a YouTuber I watch. Her name is Angie Belmar. You guys should totally go check her out because she has the best videos. She was talking about these candles and it's called Magic Candle Company, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Magic Candle Company. And they sell candles that smell like Disney. So first is the Haunted Mansion and this candle smells like cedar wood and vanilla. That's what it's supposed to smell like. And it has such pretty packaging and it's a wooden wick so it's not like a regular wax wick. It smells so good. It smells so good. And on the back it says, this haunted fragrance features a ghostly combination of cedar wood and classic vanilla that is beloved by all happy haunts. So this is supposed to smell like the haunted mansion. Um, and then the next one I have, which is my favorite one, is Pineapple Whip, which is supposed to smell like Dole Whip. I don't know why they didn't just call it Dole Whip. Maybe copyright, maybe copyright infringement. I don't really know. 
we'll figure it out together. Um, but this one says, dull out a smile every time you smell our pineapple whipped fragrance, which captures the smell of that magical soft serve delight we all know and love. And I think this smells like the Tiki Room, only because there is a dull whip stand right outside of the Tiki Room. So yeah, and again, it has a wooden wick, which is really interesting. I've never seen that before. I could smell this forever. It smells so good. And again, the packaging is so cute. And then the last one, which I actually already burned, um, is called Pirate Life. And it's supposed to smell like Pirates of the Caribbean, but it kind of has like a minty smell to it. And again, the packaging, so cute. But then the more and more I think about it, the more and more it starts to smell like Pirates of the Caribbean. So I already burned this one and it smells so good. So that's my candle. Okay, so the next thing I got was the Tahitian Gardenia Flower Mango and Butter Sh Curl Defining Shampoo and Conditioner. I really, really, really like these ones. They smell so good and they're really good for your curls. So that's an added plus. And it's a formula free of sulfates, silicones, gluten, parabens, and dyes. So if you're gluten free, you can eat this shampoo. And it also came with a curl defining combing cream, which is literally my life. I always, always, always need a detangling solution, so this is really good. And apparently you can use this when you're out of the shower, so we'll see about that, because I always comb my hair inside the shower. So we'll see if that works. The next thing I got was scrunchies. I got so many scrunchies, you guys. Let me just take these out for you so I can um, show you. I got so many scrunchies, all right? Um, so they came in all different kinds of colors, and you can like wear them with so many different outfits. Like, it's crazy. There's like two shades of red in here. Like, it's insane. So I'm very happy. And these are all velvet scrunchies, so that's a plus because velvet scrunchies are so nice for the skin. All right, so the next thing I got were some new snow boots, and I'm very excited I got new snow boots because, you guys, Philly. The weather in Philly, first of all, we had snow Monday, and it was like 60 degrees the next day. I was like, what is going on? It hasn't snowed super hard yet. So it's good that I have these now. Okay, so the next thing I got was the Amazon Echo Spot, and I'm so excited for this because I have been wanting this for so long. My friend has it, and I saw it on Snapchat. I was like, what is this creation? Like, I need it. Um, so I got the Alexa, I keep calling it Alexa Spot, the Echo Spot, and I got it in the white color, and my dad said it looked like Eva, but you know, we'll see. Um, so I'm gonna open it so you guys can see what it looks like. And yeah, once I set it up, it's gonna be super cute. Okay, so moving on, the next thing I got was, this is like a clothes category, I guess, I don't really know. The next thing I got was my tie-dye shirt. And when I opened this, I said I have a pop-pop shirt because my pop-pop wears tie-dye shirts all the time. Mostly in the summertime, but he always wears like these tie-dye shirts, so I'm very happy I have this shirt because I've been wearing one for a really long time. It just reminds me of like summer and sun and fun. And it's just, it's a really cool shirt to wear. The next thing I got, was this Abercrombie tracksuit. I know, super dope. Um, <laughs> so the, it's a pink tracksuit um, and the pants look like this and they have the Abercrombie uh, wording in navy with a white outline. And these are the softest pair of pants I've ever held in my entire life. Um, so it comes with these pants and then full drawstring on it and then it comes with the sweatshirt. And I actually opened these separately. So when I opened the pants, I was like, wait, it goes with the sweatshirt. I thought it was a crop sweatshirt at first, but I do like how it's kind of distressed on the bottom um, because that's just, it makes it look a little more casual. The next thing I got, I got my white puka shell necklace. And when I actually got it, it looked super small, but I tried it on the fits. Don't worry guys, we're all good. Um, so I got my white puka shell necklace and then I got this shell choker necklace and I'm super excited because I can layer these necklaces now and I can also layer it with my pearl choker. So I'm very excited about that. And this is actually super cute. It's kind of long in the back, but it's okay, we'll fix it because I always find a way to fix it. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about that. The last thing I got was new Uggs. I'm so excited. I think when I got these, I said I needed new Uggs more than I needed air to breathe, which is true. Um, so I just got the short chestnut brown Uggs. So I have new ones finally. And the last thing I got for Christmas, which technically wasn't a Christmas present, but my mom got a new Apple Watch for Christmas. So in return, I got her old Apple Watch and I'm gonna get a like a another band so it can um, match the silicone on my phone case. So I'm gonna get a white silicone band so it can match my white silicone phone case um, on my phone. So I got an Apple Watch for Christmas, technically. 
So that is it for my what I got for Christmas haul for 2018. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. And also, this is not the end of the gifts. I'm also getting some more from my grandmother and my aunts and my uncle. So if you guys wanna see what I got from them, make sure you go follow me on my Snapchat and my Instagram, the link will be in the description down below so you can follow along with that. And also comment down below what your favorite Christmas gift was because I'm curious, uh, curious to know. And Merry Christmas, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.